brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Here's a garden tractor that carries an unusual name, Mayrath. For those in agriculture, they may know the Mayrath name is usually associated with grain augers, but for a handful of years, the company made garden tractors as well, like this Mayrath Deluxe owned by Harvey Fox of North Carolina. The Mayraths were made from 1949 to 1952, and I could be wrong on the amount, but I think there was about 200 made. And out of the 200, there were 60 of this deluxe model made, and everybody thinks there's maybe about 30 still around. What made this tractor deluxe instead of standard was the sheet metal fenders and hood. Mayrath tractors were advertised as multi-purpose machines, and its Briggs & Stratton Model 23 engine allowed it to reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour. The Model 23 is, is in a range of eight to nine horsepower. So it's not a, a lot of power, but yet the way it's geared and everything, it, it is plenty. The bad part about it is, is because of the speeds that it'll go 30 miles an hour, which I've never had it that much. But um, you'd be limited as to what you could do with it as far as equipment because of the speed that it has. Fast on its wheels, the Mayrath Deluxe almost looks like a small car. But despite the speed, Mayraths didn't come with a lot of bells and whistles and had very simple dashboards. There's nothing there. It's just a... Uh, you know, if it's running, it's running. If it's not, it's not, you know. Uh, you crank it with rope under the hood, and there's a kill button uh, on the steering wheel to, to stop it with. But uh, it's got three speed forward and one reverse. One other feature you might notice is that the front and back tires are the exact same size. That's because the company used the rims from its portable augers on its garden tractors as well. The odd thing about the tractor is, I think it's the only tractor that has 16-inch tires on the front and the back. Most tractors have a smaller tire on the front. And the tires originally are a 516, which is about non-existent. You can't find those anymore. But luckily, when I got this one, the tires were good enough that I could clean them up and use them again. So uh, this is the original tires. One non-standard change Harvey made to this machine is the addition of a more comfortable seat. They didn't have the, the padded seat. It was just a, a yellow metal uh, under this uh, seat. You sit sort of, seemed like your knees is up in your, in your face. So I thought, well, I'm gonna put a padded seat on it and put a stiff foam in it so that it get me up a little bit higher. It makes it ride a little bit better. Although Mayrath tractors were made in Dodge City, Kansas, Harvey got his machine over the internet from Vermont. This is one of two Mayraths that Harvey's been able to track down over the years. This is the Deluxe, and I've got a, a standard which is just like it, but it don't have the body on it. Same engine, same transmission, exactly the same, except don't have the body. And there were a lot more of those made uh, because when you could buy them back then, I'm sure it was a little bit cheaper without the body. Harvey's classic garden tractor fever got started about 15 years ago and has only grown since then. But the Mayrath will always be the star of his collection. It's something different, you know. If you had something you see every day, you know, it, you know you'd like it and enjoy it. But uh, something like this, I enjoy it more than I do uh, some of the others that I've got. I've got. Uh, probably 50 or 60 uh, different tractors now. And I like to collect the, the kind that you don't see every day, uh, that kind of thing. But I think that's the fun of it for me.